everybody. Welcome to the Art Workshop. I'm Christopher Epling. Thank you so much for tuning in to Pac TV today. We appreciate your viewership so much. Today's interesting show, we're going to actually be looking at a unique medium. So any of you that are interested and in, have watched the show before, you know medium just means what we're using to create our art with. So we're using a unique medium today. We're going to be discussing it. Um, but before we do that, I want to encourage everyone out there, everybody who's watching, if you've created um, a piece of art or a drawing, if you've done something with us on the show here and would like to share it, maybe you have a grandson, maybe you're a viewer whose grandson or granddaughter is really good, really talented with art, or just wants to share their art, uh, we'd love to have it. And we want to share, share it here on the show and brag about you here on the show. So send it in to us. Uh, we'd love to have it. Um, the email address is uh, piketv99 at gmail.com and uh, send those in along with your name and age and a little bit of information about who you are and that sort of thing. So discussing a little bit about today's show. Now this is going to be very, you notice I have a lot of weird things here on the desk that not necessarily used to be filled with pens and paint, and, but this is a little different. These look like rolls of color and uh, you can see that there's a lot here. Um, so we're going to be looking at this color that is actually pieces of plastic. Okay, so you can, and it stretch out, it's just a big roll like a slinky almost. This is what we're gonna be using to create art with today, believe it or not. And so we're gonna be using a device called a 3D pen. Now, I want to tell everybody about this medium. This is a device that you can, um, you can purchase at a very reasonable rate. 3D printers are pretty expensive, but with the technology that has been out there now for a little bit, they're starting to branch out now and make different types of uh, uh, devices that you can create art with. Now this 3D pen is exactly what it sounds like. It's a pen that actually you can draw uh, in 3D. So you're going to be drawing using um, uh, plastic, heated up plastic. And if you hear that little noise in the background, that's our pen warming up. Now the pen heats up to, believe it or not, 169 degrees inside of here. But it's very cool to the touch down here. The only thing you want to do is not touch the tip of it. That would not be good. Now the pen uses these rolls of color, which is plastic, just plastic. Uh, the pen comes with a couple of colors you can use to create your art with. So what happens is you insert the end of this plastic into the end of the pen. And by just using uh, the mechanism in the pen of a button, it feeds it through. And as it feeds it through the pen, it melts it. And at the end of it, you have this uh, melted plastic that you can use to draw with. All right, so there's a lot of uh, neat templates that you can receive with this too. So take a look at some of the templates. If you wanted to create uh, your, your own dinosaur, you can use the 3D pen. And all you do is lay this down and while using um, uh, some sort of plastic or something on top that, that, that is clear, glass preferably, not necessarily plastic, but you just trace along each one of these guidelines. So this is a dinosaur. This is actually um, um, one of the options that you have, but there's many more. There's tons and tons. You could do the Eiffel Tower. Eiffel Tower is one. This one might take a long time. You've got three different sides to this, and uh, you have to connect each one when you're finished. But you just follow the template that's provided. One of my favorites is you have an airplane, um, as you can see here. Now, this little airplane is pretty easy to make. Each one of the steps are provided for you. It tells you exactly what you need to do. These are all free online. Uh, the pen itself runs about 35 bucks, and we're not really endorsing any type of pen here. So this brand of pen, we're not endorsing. There's more options out there. Some are more expensive, some are less expensive. So do your own research and see which type of pen works for you. But we wanted to use at least one today to show you kind of how this works. Now the neat thing is inside of the box, you also have this template that comes with it. You can make stuff right out of the go. So you can make a bicycle, you can create um, the pieces here, and then you use your glue gun, <laughs> the glue gun, your 3D printer, which acts a little bit like a glue gun, to actually go in and then melt these and connect these together. Now inside the box also, and this comes typical with all 3D printers, you have a scooper. Because once this plastic melts, you have to scoop it off of a surface. Now, it does not damage any type of hard surface, solid surfaces. You can actually print on tables, uh, glass, plexiglass. Uh, we're using just a piece of, of cardboard here today to do this on. Um, but you do not want, though, to print on fabric or anything that you know, could potentially um, 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 you know, heat up. 
or, or not catch fire necessarily, but the plastic will attach to it and then there's no way to get it off. So you don't want to do that. Uh, inside the box also, they provide for you a little piece of plastic. You can't really see it unless I shine the light on it there. But this little piece of plastic is uh, what they actually provide for you to work on inside the box. And so you can lay that down and you can create stuff on top of this. See, that's how it works. So you draw like this on top of the plastic. So 3D pens are pretty cool. A lot of students are using these and liking these a whole lot. You can see here that the pen itself is uh, not too big. This is uh, uh, probably about, what, five, six inches long. The plastic is rolled in through the end back here. And if you hear that noise, that's the pen heating up. And what we're going to do today, we're going to actually make a, a pair of, of glasses, 3D glasses using a pen. So we're actually drawing, believe it or not, we're drawing uh, as we create this and we're making a pair of glasses out of plastic. All right, so we're ready to go. So whenever you, after you load the, the uh, plastic through the end here, you will touch the button that powers it up. It's 169 degrees. Be careful not to touch the end too much. Uh, this is pretty hot, so don't do what I'm doing now to clear it off. Um, but the buttons up at the end, you have four with this particular one. These two are basically your start and stop buttons. And this here actually speeds up or slows down how fast the plastic is melted through the pen. Okay, so that's your basic, uh, you know, um, options for controls. Pretty simple to use. Um, the only awkward thing is that you have this giant roll of plastic back here hanging out while you're drawing. That's kind of awkward, but there's no way around it. I mean, we're, you know, if you think about it, we're at the uh, time period in, in history where we're actually drawing with 3D uh, devices. So let's get started. I'm going to now, the uh, green light means we're powered up, we're ready to go. Uh, so I'm going to hit this button and you're going to see me actually start to lay down some, um, some plastic. Now you notice it comes out fairly quickly. And you notice it's almost just like tracing over these designs. So if you at home uh, were to get one of these pens, you'll notice yourself that you, you have these stencils to go by. However, you, you know, tracing the stencil is one thing, but whenever you go as far as to try to make like the height even all throughout, and what I mean is like how, how tall I'm building up the plastic as I go, that's a little challenging. You know, that can be challenging. Another thing that I found kind of challenging about this pen is that you have to take out the previous color, of course, to change color. So I would have to remove this plastic and then, you know, insert a different color. It works pretty good that way, minus the fact that you're going to be wasting some of the plastic that's in there when you change it. The only way to feed it out of it is to clip it off and then feed the rest through. So that could be a little wasteful. Now, as I'm going through tracing over all the yellow, uh, trying to keep a somewhat straight line on the edges here, um, I'm going to very, very, very gradually build up as well. So you got to think about this in 3D. You're not just drawing on a flat surface, but you're drawing um, um, vertically and horizontally. So this is a little challenging. You have to keep the height of the plastic just so you have to keep the width of the plastic inside the lines just so. And it's a little challenging. We're almost to the point, though, where we're at the end of this first set uh, on the um, glasses, that the parts that go over the, the ears, okay? So we're moving along. We're getting towards the edge. You can make these in any color, too. Um, when I first got this, I made a robot, and it was terrible. <laughs> so it takes a lot of practice to, you know, get to the point where your movement's pretty smooth with this. Now, as I'm going down the line here, the, the plastic that I started with up at the main end down there is actually cooling off. So it cools pretty fast. I found that too. You want to make sure, though, that you let it cool all the way before you um, go and uh, um, start to, you know, touch it or pull it off. All right, that's, that's good. That will work. Now, when you stop, you have this little device here. You need to cut that plastic with it because you don't want to mess up your what you've done so far so there we go there we go we've used this pen to make one of the pieces to our glasses now you can't really see this I'll try to show it to you when I bend it this way maybe you can see but this is elevated off of the paper just a bit you can see a little bit there not too far just a little bit you can probably make yours as thick as you want it may even help to go over this a couple of times that your glasses are sturdy especially if you want to try to put them on <laughs> so Let's go ahead now and try to finish with the other um, 
part of the glass doesn't go over the other part of your, your other ear, the other part of your ear, I almost said. All right, here we go. So slow but sure, right? And we're going to go ahead and finish up on this side. Now, one of the challenging parts, too, is after you finish with the stencil, you make one piece, okay, then you move on to the next piece. One of the challenging parts of that is actually putting them all together. And how you do that is obviously by heating up the plastic, right? So you get the plastic hot, it acts like a glue because one thing about this plastic is that whenever you create something and you go and you wanna bond it with something else you created with the plastic, it really, really takes to itself pretty well. So you heat it up and you attach it to the other part you made and it bonds really well. Um, it's amazing what you can do with just heating up some plastic there's not a very strong smell to this. I thought there would be. Uh, it's actually a, a little bit of a pleasant smell, believe it or not. I don't know how that happened, but it's a little bit of a pleasant smell that comes out uh, with this type of uh, brand of 3D pen anyway. You might get one if you're interested and go out and look for one and, and yours you know, stinks pretty bad, so I won't guarantee they all don't stink. Now, uh-oh, see I went outside the line there. That's good though, it'll be a uh, happy accident because it's a teaching opportunity here in a second. So I'm keeping on moving. Now watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move the paper now. Instead of moving my pen so much, I'm gonna move the, the stencil down and I'm keeping the pen stationary. So now all I have to do is make a forward and backward motion, laying down the plastic just so. And I may have got to the end here. You gotta prepare though to stop. And that's one of the tricky parts that you have to play around with and, uh, get better at it as you go. When you prepare to stop, you have to be ready because when you hit the button, it takes a second for the pen to feed out and quit producing plastic. So you may go over a little bit on your uh, stencil. So here we go, we're getting towards the end. I'm gonna make a circle around this part so I make sure everything's clear and I'm not having any jagged edges at least. And now I'm going to try my best to hit the button, uh-oh. Now you see what I've done too. Here's a couple of teaching opportunities here. First of all, um, I went outside the line here and down on this end, I didn't fill it up all the way. And it's okay. Uh, you just wanna power up your pen again, on this part at least, and go in and use your pen to fill that up nicely like that. Okay, so once we have that, any excess you can take along the top and kinda help build it, make it a little more sturdy. Now we do have the problem though with this piece right here, we want to cut that off if we can. So we just put this over the top of it and push down a little hard. If you can't do it with this, you can use scissors. Uh, scissors will help to uh, take the piece off. It's a little, you know, it's really, it's really, really uh, strong, believe it or not. I mean, I was surprised, as you can see here, uh, this little piece, we'll cut that off when we're done. It's, it's pretty sturdy. All right, now we have the main frames here we're going to be working on. And with these, this is going to be really tricky. Um, I'm gonna to have to move my paper around as, as I did before up here, more probably than trying to use my hand to maneuver around. Now this isn't necessarily so much um, as a skill in how you can draw, as it is a skill in how you can uh, tray something uh, using a medium that is a little tricky. And you know, we wanted to show you this as an option out there to create art with, because a lot of times uh, we think of art just being basic, you know, canvas and some paper and a pen or some paint. But you know, there's a lot of different mediums out there, and they're available to us now. And, you know, through the through the web, you get online, and you can uh, you can find just about anything in the world you want to create art with. Uh, there's artists out there. One, his name is Patrick Doherty and he is uh, an artist that uses tree limbs, twigs, not giant limbs, but twigs. And he creates these really, really neat 3D sculptures using these twigs. And recently some of his work was at the Huntington Museum of Art. Um, so I highly encourage you out there to look for museums or galleries around you. If you have an opportunity to go look at art, then that's great, do that, because seeing other people's art in person helps you to understand a little bit about their process, even though they're not there to tell you maybe exactly what they've done to create something, uh, you're able to see it in person. And you can almost get an idea about, you know, well, this person applied the paint pretty thick here. That must, that's for a reason, right? And, you know, it's, it's just really good to, 
see other people's work. So we've traced along the bottom here. I stopped though because I was getting a little nervous about moving around the edge. So we'll go around here now and try it this way, upside down. And we're gonna to try to connect these now. So as you can see, this side over here has almost dried. So I need to make sure this connects well. So I'm gonna apply a little more plastic than I did over there on the other side to here, just to make sure this connects okay. After I feel that it has, I can start to move on now. But there's a bunch of stencils. You know, some takes more time than others, obviously. I saw a T-Rex stencil, and it looked amazing. Whoever created it has actually created the ribs, and uh, it's a skeleton, T-Rex skeleton. Uh, robot, there's a ton of robot-type uh, uh, stencils out there. There's even stencils for things like um, the, a Pokemon ball. Uh, you know, there's uh, um, stencils for some of, the favorite, you know, some of your favorite movies, characters from your movies, I mean. So there's a lot of opportunities uh, to use this medium in different ways. A lot of times too, growing up, I remember that I would actually use stuff around the house to create art with. Um, you know, you may, you may wanna go and just, like uh, Patrick Doherty does, he goes out and just finds, you know, twigs and, and, and things to make art. So there's nothing wrong with that. Um, art is, you know, subjective. It can be anything in the world. Um, that you, that you want it to be, and that's what's so cool about it. And we have a ton of talented artists right here in Eastern Kentucky too. I've seen so many that just uh, just amazing work coming out of our area. Now, as you can see, I went over the line. I'm rambling on a little bit too much. And I've caused my glasses now to be a little outside the line, a little crooked up here at the top, but that's okay. I'm just gonna add more of this glorious plastic to it. I keep building it up. Now I'm going to move over to here, keep on going. And you can make stuff on your own, you know, you can make your own design for something. It doesn't necessarily have to be a stencil. Uh, you could draw something out and then, you know, plan it yourself. Uh, there's a lot of different opportunities using this me uh, medium. And if you have one of these pens or go get one and you create something, we'd love to share it. We'd love to see what you've done. I guarantee you, you're going to be better than I am at this. Um, you can send it again, pikedv99 at gmail.com is the email address that you can use to send in any, any and all artwork. It doesn't have to be 3D glasses. It doesn't even have to be with a 3D pen. We would love to see your work and brag about you because this show's about you. This is not about me or, or um, you know, any type of product that we're talking about or anything like that because we certainly don't endorse any products. This show is about you um, and we want to showcase you you know, that's, that's our goal here at Pike TV, to showcase the work that's in the community, talk about process, talk about how we make things with different things, and, um, you know, share together and enjoy the process of creating art and, 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 and have a community of artists creating stuff. That, to me, is just absolutely ideal. Right, so we're going to keep on trucking here. I'm building this up a little more, and now I kind of wish we would have done a robot, so I started talking about robots but glasses will work. But I want this to be a little thicker because here in a second, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take all these pieces and we're gonna combine them together, okay? So I want it to be good and strong. I don't want it to be have weak areas that might break. Of course, it could break anyway. I have no idea, but we're gonna see what happens. So this one's built up pretty good. I wanna start to move my paper around and work on this side a little more now. So this, these glasses here are gonna be not prescription ready glasses, but they're kind of fun to put on your face. Maybe we can wear them too. That'd be interesting, wouldn't it? If we wore these, we could wear, wear these. Uh, we'll see what happens. So as you can see though, I've went around the, went around the edges a little more. I've went outside the lines just a little bit in a couple areas, which we'll try to take care of. And building this up so it's good and strong. I just hit the back button now and we stop. Now everywhere that's black is plastic. Um, there's a few places that I went outside the line. Now I want to uh, go ahead and build these up a little bit more. So I'm gonna put a little more plastic on the uh, handles here. I guess they're handles, what you call these, but um, keep on trucking here, building it up. You can see as the plastic starts to start to go into the pin, um, you know, it lessens and lessens your roll. It takes a lot though. It's almost taking an entire roll of black just to make these glasses, which is and very interesting, you may not have the same experience. You may have uh, a device that is relatively, uh, you know, goes through the plastic pretty easy and doesn't consume a lot. This, this device consumes a lot of plastic. 
but that's okay. We're going to make some cool glasses. Building this up more, make it a little more sturdy. I think we're about good on this one. One more go up the side here, and then we're done. And it's really neat to see the plastic come out, too, because there's different um, uh, options that you have, as I talked about earlier, when it comes to the speed of how fast this comes out. Okay, now let's, let's build up our other uh, side here and uh, make sure this is nice and uh, sturdy. Let's go ahead and do that now. Just laying down another layer of plastic on top of this one. And after this, we should be able to, hopefully, if we've done this correctly, hopefully we have, I don't know, it may not work. So it's gonna be a, uh, it's gonna be a, really a, just a reveal for you and me whenever I actually go to pop these off and put them together. So it's a mystery on what might happen, but you're here with me and we're gonna find out. That's awesome. I'll keep on going here a little bit more. I hope that it works. Um, Let's see, we're almost done. Let's go a little bit more down here on the end. And we're good, I think. Yeah, I hit the button to stop. Hopefully it does. All right, cool. Now I'm gonna let this cool just a little bit. And in the meantime, while I do that, I wanna share a couple more things that are features with this pen. Now after you've finished uh, applying some uh, plastic down, it's good to go ahead and just wipe it off because the plastic will continue a little bit to, to kind of feed out the end as the device slows down and cools off. If you haven't used the device for a matter of a minute or so, it will actually kick off itself. So that's sort of a safety mechanism. You do not want to, however, put your finger down here as I almost did to the <laughs> end of the pin because that will hurt. The main tip is what's so hot. And you can just take the pin and sort of move it around a little bit on the surface. You don't care to get some stuff on and, and there you go. You've got the plastic now off your pin. I don't advise pulling it like I did. Now, it, they do provide for you a pen holder, which is really nice of them. So when you're finished, you can put that down in there. It doesn't matter if it's hot or not because the pen holder will actually keep it from uh, uh, getting too too hot down in the um, inside of there. It can, actually, there's a little place inside of there that where you can actually collect some of this excess plastic as it comes out. All right, here comes the really, really, really scary moment of popping this off. So we have. Our glass is made. We're gonna use the scooper that came with my kit. And I'm gonna see what happens. I don't know what's gonna happen. Uh, okay, so it's very slowly around the bottom. Oh man, I don't know about this. Uh, I don't wanna break them. I want my glasses to be intact. Oh man, all around the bottom here. Let's go around the side. That looks pretty sturdy. Oh wow, okay. There's our, there's our frames. So we have we have frames, okay. All right, now let's do the, the I guess, what are these, handles? Oh, handles, well, I don't know what I call them handles for. I want to just have to cut that when I pop this off. Same here, moving this around real gently, keeping a very, very flat approach, and boom, another part of our glasses, all right? Okay, one more. Isn't it amazing, we did this with a pen. We're drawing with a pen, and we've made something that's tangible 3d here pop that off imagine wow i mean when i was when i was a kid if i had access if i had access to something like this I, it's hard telling what i would have made I, i've i had so many ideas when i was younger and you know now it's hard to even figure out you know directions on how to get to town sometimes but um so we don't want to bend these too much because this plastic is, is, is fragile. It's hot. You know, it's, it's pretty durable, but it's fragile. But right here, I've got a couple of pieces where I pulled the pin off that are, is sticking out just a little bit. You can trim that, see? This snaps right off if you have any pieces you need to trim. This one looks like it's pretty good. Oh, now a little bit right here. And you can move that excess stuff off to the side until you're done. There you go. So I think I've given enough time to dry. The last part of this is taking our frames, okay, and you're going to connect these uh, here with their, with their, uh, um, the side pieces, like here and here, okay? All right. Now, one thing I did notice is that when I made these, um, these are actually supposed to be the smooth, it's very smooth side here, and I guess they want that to be the, on the outside, but both, both of these are exactly the same. So that means on this side, you have the rough surface. So that's something that I didn't really think about, but it's okay, it'll work. So 
in order to connect these together, my pin is ready again, it's turned green. I'm going to apply some hot plastic here and some hot plastic here, okay? Uh, and hopefully after I do that, um, they will be able to connect and securely and stay. Now one thing I'd like to do since I'm going to be connecting these two pieces, I'm gonna put a little bit of plastic out on the edges of my glasses so these have somewhere to stick to. Because as of right now, these frames, as you can see, are pretty thin, right? So let's build a little, a little more uh, surface on the edges. Now I've noticed kind of like the Buddy Holly glasses, if you remember. You know what I'm talking about, some of you might. Um, these are also, I, I, I've seen pretty popular now even, but this is warming up, so as soon as it starts coming out, we're gonna, we're gonna put it in there. There we go, here we go. All right, so there we go. All right, so as you can see, it bonds pretty good. I'm gonna go out a little bit, this right here, out from the glasses and start to build up this kind of a square frame, right? You know what I'm talking about now. Right on the edge, just like that. This right here, a little more. I want it to be nice and thick. And let's see what's gonna happen. So this looks like it's pretty good, all right. Now, as it's slowing down, you can move around the frame a little more, get some of that excess plastic off. All right, whoa, I just about touched it too soon. So it's still, it's still cooling. While that's cooling, let's jump over here and go ahead and do this side too. So all this is doing is just building up that plastic. And if you're not careful though, you can break it real easy. It's not real easy to break, but it's, it's pretty fragile. You don't want to go bending it too much, especially after it just, just finished drying, because it can easily break then. You can hear the sound of the plastic being fed through the pin. The roll is just continually moving forward. As long as you get the button pushed in, this, this plastic is going to come through. There we go. This one's a little more crooked, but that's okay. Something for us to use. All right, we'll let that cool. We'll wait for a second, let that cool. I may want to use my scooper here on this side to make sure this pops out. All right, that one did. Let's see now, is this one about done? Almost. Might be able to go ahead and, yeah, there we go. Cool, so let's go ahead now and finish our project. A little plastic here. This is, the, this is the hard part. Oh man, all right, let's see what happens. Sticking a lot of plastic on here. It's pretty hot too. Turning it off and putting it on again. Oh man, is it enough? I'm holding it together, holding it together. Come on. So sometimes I guess you have to Probably build, build more than even this, so, oh, it's so close. It's almost connecting, as you can see. Look at this, we drew this. Can you believe that? We drew this, and now it's a pair of glasses, sort of. I'm gonna put some more in here, though. Make sure this bonds well. A little more plastic. There we go, it's bonding up now pretty good. But we really want this to stay, and even though this is not so pretty looking on the inside you know it's there for us to use to keep it from falling off that's good for now on that end all right hopefully that'll dry now we got this one to put on and I think based on what I've done over here I'm going to actually start here and we're going to build up a ton of this plastic again something that this side can actually attach to so I'm building it up just like a wall just like you're building a wall you can't really see that but I'm going straight up building this wall of plastic that hopefully will stay hot for a second. All right. I'm going to put a little bit here. It's okay if you can see that it's actually, uh, I spilled a little bit. That's okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let's go. Come on. All right. Hold it there for a second or two. Make sure it kind of connects. It takes very pretty fast drying, um, but it's hard to believe though. We created this by drawing, pretty much. Tracing, but drawing. All right, let's let that dry just for a second. Just for a second. So with our glasses, we bid you 
a nice ado. Here we go. Let's try it out. Appreciate you tuning in today so much and uh, hope that you have a wonderful day. And please, again, if you have any art you'd like to share, send it in to us at pikeTV99 at gmail.com. These glasses are just a little weird, so I'm taking them off now. But uh, thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, I'm Christopher Epling, and keep creating art.